We have to draw key chart. Remember key. that key chart. Key chart. And then there should you shouldn't draw a teacher. You have to draw a teacher. Teacher is, I need to all this too. What do you need? Paper. 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 Oh, okay. I need this paper. Thank you. Who is not taking paper? Me. Not me. Oh, me. Oh. Just to get it. Oh. discussion. Write down the key details related to the topic. Did you know that when you sneeze, germs travel at 120 kilometers per hour? Sneezing is one way, among many others, germs are spread. Though really fast, the germs usually travel only up to one meter. And if the what? germs come into contact with the facial area of a... Mandy, you hit. You didn't hit? I broke. Oh, Mandy, you shouldn't draw in class. You have to use the paper during the note-taking, right? Ellie, do you need a paper too? You don't need paper? You shouldn't use this place. It's harder, all right? Oh, Spencer, I'll give you a new one. This one's better. Okay, I'll give you a new one. Okay, better? Tony, you ready? Okay, everyone, so let's get started again. Um, everybody, if you guys are in Giga level, note-taking is hard. But if you guys uh, eventually level up, right, later you have to take notes in like a, this one is actually shorter, like one minute. But if you're taking TOEFL test, do you know how long the talk is? Yes. No? How many minutes do you have to do? Mm -hmm. It's about like six to seven minutes. And you cannot memorize the whole discussion or whole dialogue or whole lecture. So the reason why we learn how to find out the important idea is because you have to find out the right answer in a longer passage. So we are drilling. We are actually getting ready for longer passage, even though you guys are in a lower level. Okay? So you have to keep practicing. So right now, you shouldn't play around. Oh, I don't know how to take notes. You shouldn't do that. You have to practice together. It doesn't mean that you have to copy my answer. You have to have your own style because there's no answer in notating, right? But there are ways. So ready? Go. Oh, one more time. Oh. Write it. Listen to the entire discussion. Write down the key details related to the topic. Did you know that when you sneeze, germs travel at 120 kilometers per hour? Sneezing is one way, among many others, germs are spread. Though really fast, the germs usually travel only up to one meter. And if the germs come into contact with the facial area of a person, he or she may become infected. I always cover my mouth when I sneeze. Very good. Unfortunately, some germs can travel farther than one meter. They attach themselves to droplets of moisture in the air. In this way, they can travel long distances where they can be inhaled by other people. So, even the air we breathe could be dangerous. Yes, I'm afraid so. Also, I know most of you like to go swimming in the summer, but the pool contains all kinds of germs, and chlorine doesn't kill all of them. That's not good news. <gasps> All right, so I'm done writing down. Uh, so, okay, it's 
it's okay. You don't have to know everything about it, but let's take a look at one by one. So, everybody, when, when you sneeze, right, how far, uh, how fast germs travel? Longer per hour. Yeah, it's really fast. It's like a car speed, right? And how far can he travel? One meter. Oh yeah, up to one meter. However, if the place is moisture, droplets of moisture places, right? The germs can spread off farther or smaller. Smaller. Oh. Uh, Let's say there's like a water ditch or like. <laughs> Because of the saliva drop fell like fell okay. down, it's like shh, like this. Is it worse or better? Worse. 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 Because of the moisture droplets, it goes farther, right? Farther. So farther, not farther. <laughs> farther away, far away, right? So uh, everybody, where the where is a dangerous place that has a lot of germs? Swimming pool. Okay, that's why we have this picture. Swimming pool. But in swimming pool, what kind of smell can you smell in the water? Lotion. Yeah, actually. Anita, I love lax smell. Oh my gosh, you love lax smell. Okay, lax is like wait. That is the name of the product, but. Uh, the ingredient of making lax in Korean, right? It is, can you guys repeat after me? Chlorine. chlorine. One more time, chlorine. chlorine. In Korean, chlorine is yongsu. Do you understand? Um, in Korean. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, one student really like made a good sound. Meh, like this. But it's not bad, I'm sorry. Weight is not bad. <laughs> Chlorine. Chlorine. Yeah. It's a kind of a chemical that can actually disinfect or kill germs in many areas. And the chlorine can be used in gas or it can be used oh. with water, like liquid. It's soluble. But this is very toxic. Why? Okay, it's toxic. You know what? If you uh, add water in chlorine, then you become yeah. 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 It's acidic. Mountain. You cannot understand? It's okay. You don't have to copy it. So, everybody, wait. And then, why swimming pool is dangerous, guys? Can it not kill other germs or it cannot kill all the germs? It can't kill everything. Even though you go to swimming pool, it doesn't mean that you get infected. You're okay because you're healthy. All right. Well, when I fall, it was locked. Yes. So everyone, now look at the note taking and then look at this question again. Oh, what is the main idea of this poll? Spencer? What is the main talk, main idea of this talk? How germs are dangerous? No, it's crazy. Yeah. So please write down. Ways germs are spread. Because number one, by sneezing, this is number one. And then also, swimming pool also spread germs, okay? So this is about how germs are spread. And number two is super easy, right? So, uh, Jun, can you read up this number two? How, how fast? Germ travel near Yeah, when you sneeze, how fast do germs travel? Oh, what? 120 in four hours. Per hour, germs travel. So you can just write yeah, wait, germs wait, wait. travel. Wait. Mm -hmm. I'll be waiting. No, no, no. So here you can see germs travel 12, 120 kilometers per hour. This is number two answer. So if you have the right note taking, answers are there. You don't have to find out. You don't have to remember. You don't have to uh, recall the memory. 
They are there in the note, right? Ellie, can you read question number three? Um, everyone. Mostly germs can travel up to one meter. Okay? But sometimes some germs they travel farther than one meter. When does it happen? If the droplets are dry or moisture? Moisture, right. So it's right there. Uh, moisture droplets can spread the germs farther away. So this is answer number three. So write down. Uh, they attach themselves to droplets of moisture in the air. So air spread germs. Yeah, air spread germs. And number four. Uh, Irene, can you read number four? Wait. I can wait. Uh -huh. Yeah, why is the water in swimming pool dangerous? Everybody, look at this. Can chlorine kill all the germs? No. So chlorine cannot kill all the germs. So it's right here. So everything uh, except for number one, all the other questions are factual questions. You only have to find out the right fact from the top, right? And as you can see in this uh, in this board, right? Number one answers here, two answers here, three answers here, and four answers here. So number four, cannot kill all the germs. So please write down. Chlorine doesn't kill all the germs. Are you done writing? Yeah, now I will give you this note after taking a picture. And then I'll give you guys a media card. So this is like an example note. All right? Okay. Oh, wait for a second. I have 25 percent. 